came to Russia over 15 years ago, and uh, the reaction was really good. This, 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 I lose my mind. <laughs> you see, we're approaching their 20th anniversary. We're out here touring our seventh album. Placebo in the past have ventured to countries that not a lot of bands go to, and we'd like a bit of an adventure. President Putin made it very clear. The Russians appear to have won this round, taking control of... Pro-Russian forces stormed Ukrainian Navy. The cultural life in Russia is rather polarized now. It's officially banned to insult traditional values of Russia, and that law is usually applied against artists. I'm not really in favor of artistic boycotts because the people that suffer are genuine music fans. The politicians win if you don't go and play. Are you restricted in any way? You know, the freedom of expression? So it definitely creates an atmosphere of distrust and, and oppression. We're going to try to meet people on this tour, people who are doing their own thing. Here we go. Krasnodar is a really nice place for us. It's much easier to make a uh, production base here. Us against the mainstream media. Everyone is so fed up with that eternal struggle. We, we have to change the attitude. I'm very lucky that I'm a photographer in this moment because the, everything is so unstable and so strange. That's what we do, bringing it into the streets. When I play music, you don't need any words. We have to, to bring our civil society back to life. That's rather an ambitious goal. Okay, let's do this thing. It, it feels like uh, people are voicing their views and, and opinions, even in the face of adversity. People are, are speaking up, people are activating themselves. People come to these gigs and they feel free enough to be themselves. You know, there are so many places in the world that need that more than Europe. You know, so coming to Russia is important.